Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. TX Border Medic issues warning: breaks code to expose massive cover-up of sickening side to immigration. Dennis Michael Lynch had a reader named Sherry who shared a heart-wrenching letter on Facebook from a paramedic serving on the Texas-Mexico border. It puts the whole immigration debate and the separation of children from so-called parents in a different light. One that shares the bitter truth of what is going on with these innocent children and it's not what the media wants you to hear or see. Nevertheless, it's the truth and many of us have known it for many years. I have family in Arizona near the border. I have watched on and off my whole life what goes on down there and it is not anything like what the media is pushing. For instance, the father of the Honduran girl who became the face of the family separation crisis has revealed that his wife and daughter were never separated by border control agents and remained together. That child's picture was on the cover of Time magazine with President Trump to make him look like a villain who relishes separating children from their parents. Or how about the viral picture of the child in a cage crying? That was not at a nice facility. That was taken at a leftist protest where they put the child in a cage as propaganda and videoed the little one crying. This paramedic talks about how virtually all of these children are ill in one way or another and many have been abused horrifically. The care they receive once in the U.S. is a world away from the poverty, cruelty, and abuse of their former lives. Yes, children are separated from parents if they commit a crime. They should be. But remember, of the 12,000 children who have come across that border, 10,000 had no parents with them. Coyotes, i.e. slave traders and human traffickers, smuggle the children in for a fee. These children are subject to all kinds of abuse on their journey. They travel with drug cartels and the most evil of gangs out there. Now they appear to be used as political pawns. Here's some truth to open your eyes, warning, it is graphic, don't listen to the lying media on this. DML I received the following FB post from a friend. The original author is Lee Witt, an EMT in SOTX along the border. He writes. So I am going to break a self-rule about not posting in regards to work and politics. Well, I am actually going to stand by my rule because what I am really doing is coming to the defense of the U.S. Border Patrol and Customs Texas DPS, and myself since we were all part of the separation of children from their parents on the border. What many progressive leftists refuse to acknowledge in their misplaced cries for compassion is that some 8,000 of these children arrived at the border without a parent or accompanying adult of any kind. Recent raids by Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, have revealed illegal migrant children working in horrific conditions. Children are being trafficked for labor in SX. Children that are arriving at the border with an accompanying adult claiming to be a parent or other relative, yet many do not even know the most basic of info about one another. When asked questions, they give the same or similar scripted answers in response. The issue with this misplaced compassion is these progressive groups are quite literally outraged that children are being separated from potential abusers and traffickers. A 15-year veteran medic working on the border describes the situation like this in part dash. There is another side to some of the immigrants that most people don't witness. Most of the children that started coming across the border three or four years ago were alone or with smugglers that worked double duty with the cartels. The adults that were with them often lied and said they were the parents which was not true. Even the children that were with their parents or parent were oftentimes in dangerous situations. These children were separated back then and are still separated to this day. It is heartbreaking to see such events unfold and nobody, from the Border Patrol Texas law enforcement or Texas CMS professionals were happy to be tasked with such work. We did not abuse any children. Instead, we cared for them. We fed them and gave them water, clothes, medical care, and comfort. All of these kids were sick or ill. It might be something as simple as dehydration but oftentimes it was more than that. Much more. Such as the 10-year-old girl that I flew who had been raped no less than 10 times on her journey. Her private parts torn by the continued trauma inflicted each night of her stay in the desert. Her screams and cries of mistrust still haunt me to this day when I think about it. Then there was a little boy who was only 5 years old covered in scabies, fleas, and abscesses with a broken jaw from being hit by a smuggler for crying. There were many kids that were so malnourished and dehydrated that they could not hold any solid food down and were delirious from sun exposure. Most of these kids had never slept under a roof their entire lives. They certainly never slept in a bed as they often slept on the ground with animals in their home countries. At the centers where these children were housed, they cried aloud. Why wouldn't they? Most had been on a journey that no human should ever go through. Most have never been able to trust a single soul their entire lives, even their parents. They were afraid of the future, but what these professionals did at the centers was phenomenal work. 
They fed these kids. They immunized these kids. They love these kids. They have counselors on hand to help with these children. Some of these kids are put into the foster care system which, while not the greatest it could be, is almost certainly better than where they came from in the abuse they have suffered at the hand of cutthroats and drug cartels. Meanwhile, in Washington Nielsen is being heckled at home and also while she attempts to eat. She was also recently heckled by a group of protesters while eating dinner at a Mexican restaurant Tuesday evening. The group calling itself the Metro DC Democratic Socialists of America MTSA, camped out next to Nielsen's table and chanted slogans and hurled loaded questions at Nielsen. The group shouted, you're eating a Mexican dinner as you're deporting tens of thousands of people separated from their parents, and chanted no borders, no walls, sanctuary for all, among other slogans. They hurled accusations and shouted, have you listened to it? Have you heard the babies crying? Do you hear them crying? In reference to the audio tape first leaked by ProPublica claiming it was a recording of immigrant children crying and begging for their parents. Mtsa said in a statement of their actions that members of the Trump administration will never be allowed to eat and drink in public again. Margaret McLaughlin, a member of the Mtsa steering committee, said in a statement, We will not stand by and let Secretary Nielsen dine in peace, while she is directing her employees to tear little girls away from their mothers and crying boys away from their fathers at our border. Secretary Nielsen and everyone else who has carried out these brutal and cold-blooded orders to rip apart families should never be allowed to eat and drink in public again. While Secretary Nielsen's dinner may have been ruined, it is nothing compared to the horrors she has inflicted on innocent families. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.